report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I left Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long have you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there. You know. Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you, but the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it. From Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him, so that means that she's gotta be here. My dead grandma can run faster than that. My dead Triple grandmother. Hmm. He doesn't care. Sarah can run faster shot. than you. Yes, sir. Moving. I uh, ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks.
Okay, that's it then. That dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Oh, come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. No, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Maybe in here. the infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she it would be, right? Whoa! Nope, not here. Come on! Check this one. Oh, damn it, she's not here either. It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, are you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Yes. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Now could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty on you. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs or auto attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. 
I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. I got a use for you. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike. Wait, over here. But what'd you find? The fence has been cut. And no rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> That ever was you yelling at a wolf? Yeah, depends. Look out! More wolf! I see him! That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Near a grave site. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, well, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Is it John? This way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, I get tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. But look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, 
Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. <laughs> All right, where now? Keep heading east. <laughs> Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. You said cold the weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? Colonel's fill you in. He lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Wow, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. You see your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, no, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
of them. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Hey, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> Like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. On a sack. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe me. Lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Never. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know what? I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we can't... I'm sorry about that. Oh, my God, you should have seen the look on your face. 
Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw fighter? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I just I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come oh, on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early now. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the butterflies. Oh, I see you with me again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone, and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yeah. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. this not unusual you know I'm sorry what's that to not have any photos of your wife family yeah why do you say that back in the day everyone used smartphones that's where we kept all our photos the phones went away the cloud went away our photos went with them yeah I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit shit's gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. 
Goddamn bullshit. Ten hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole! Get off me! <laughs> oh, I swear God. What about Get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um. No, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid the, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. How's it going, Captain soldier? Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed, or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions.
Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Beat the enemy. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my... All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? Active ingredients, chlor, chlor, chloroform, and uh, a terp, turpin. Ter Get out! Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered, Lieutenant Whitaker. This is Corporal Saint John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can't read, can you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sir, I don't. Dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. 
You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Who's and and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was away. overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think I never thought I would see you again. See you. Hey, listen, no, we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John and Lieutenant Weaver, come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey. Between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Hey, don't be that way. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Nothing, huh? Yeah. What can I do you for? Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later.
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back. St. John, report to me at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Captain. Yes, sir. St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's working. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, yeah, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in. Oh, some shit in my head. Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping out trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, what, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, uh, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh... Corporal, good. I have a job that requires... How's my favorite corp? New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. 
Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John, I'll catch you later. I got the gate. St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Take it, St. John. Hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what the what the hell you, you got? They got you. What, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some sh- uh, Okay, what were you saying? What, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, what are you, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on, uh, bioweapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, am I right? <laughs> yeah, look, Taylor, I gotta go. Alright, alright, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about a... Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. All right, Anderson, let's go take care of business. He's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Yes. What do we got? Oh shit, the wolves. Okay, let's take a look around. Seen what you assholes are up to. An injector. Nero had all the good shit. I gotta get into that cave somehow. <laughs> yeah. Focus. Gotta focus.
Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so... Words on the camp that drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor. So no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious. He writes in it, out of camp all the time. And so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. <laughs> <laughs> More bounties. Ah, oh, God damn it, Taylor! Listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. Got that? <laughs> 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 So, uh, what, what were you saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, tell me what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Just crawl under here. Still got your militia armband. Oh shit, Ranger. Damn it. Maybe uh, I can sneak around.
Damn it, sniper ambush. Shit, perfect time. So I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. St. John. <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor and Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, you're a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trap. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> Taylor, you're gonna get your... <laughs> get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. I went 97. Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit! I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. God damn it! Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? Looking for your next easy target? Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be. I'm just sort of their errand boy for now. Actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. 
When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I can find it. Good luck, Corporal. Hurry out. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Dear Crossing, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. <laughs> I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Renegade camp. Sons of bitches, you think you can ambush me and get away with it? Come back later and finish burning out these nests. Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, it seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders, Corporal. Garrett out. Yes, sir. Fucking A. Okay, come on, you assholes. Let's do this. Hey. Okay, hang on. I'm coming. Okay. Hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. John. Thank God I'd given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. May as well just... Oh. <laughs> 